Silvio, and this is part 19 of my Christmas Village 2021 food tutorial series. This is the time of the year when I go from excitement to sadness every 20 minutes. Excitement because in a couple of weeks this entire project will be finally complete. Sadness because in a couple of weeks the inexorable countdown for the dismantling will suddenly start. Life will always be unfair. And from now on I will continue working in parallel on the finalization of the first level and on placing all the figurines. I just spent four hours unboxing all of them. And right now they are laid down on a 100 by 60 centimeters or 40 by 24 inches uh, plywood panels ready to be picked up. Uh, trees and uh, snow will come just a little after. Sometimes you're a fire, sometimes you're a ghost 
Nothing is untrue. Nothing don't matter. It's all notions of our emotions, of everything we are and what we belong to. How we reach our destiny.
Before you ask, no, it's not completed yet. So let's go with the final recap of part 19 of the 2021 series. But first of all, I have a little surprise for you guys. Let me just switch on a little thing there. And in just some seconds, something will appear from that corner there. My train, finally, all the cars, I've connected all the cars, so it is rolling correctly on the uh, tracks. Strange, very strange, because last time I checked it, and only with the locomotive was four, three, four months ago, and with everything I did since that time, the train is still working. Let me add a little more uh, speed. And then one more time with the train. And uh, okay, here it comes again. So a locomotive there, then tender, then uh, combined car, passenger and the post mail car, then some Christmas, then passenger cars, then another time the uh, little gift car there. So, the train is working, not bad, not bad at all, uh, congratulations to myself, <laughs> sorry guys. And so, I've just uh, finished connecting the train some minutes ago, I will stop it in the gallery down there. So, you have just uh, seen me doing uh, multiple things, obviously I haven't filmed everything I did there, because it took me 20 22, 23 hours uh, all along the week to finalize this here. Uh, still many things to add. Trees and cobblestones and printed cobblestones, of course. But my technique is what you have seen me doing there. So with the cobblestones, then I pinned the, the cobblestones into the styrofoam with my pins then applied everything else on top of it. So, what is more, more, more romantic? Then a couple kissing under the tree with a little fountain, with a bird fountain, looking at the sea. So, <laughs> sorry guys, I've degenerated a little bit. And then I've added uh, some more things here. And once again, the second booth is there. I added some barrels here. I added the potato scarier there. Then the Salvation Army band there. Fish seller there with uh, a lady uh, buying it. Then what else? Yes, uh, well, someone carrying some baggage there. So I added uh, some more things there also all along there. Lamp lighter, uh, all the figurines I wanted for this year are now placed. Maybe I will modify this something a little, little, little bit here. Uh, obviously, I will need to put under the figurines my printed cobblestones. Uh, cobblestones, sorry. So I will need to move them around a little bit. So there. There's two, uh, the lake is completed. Uh, you have seen me doing the um, fences, the wood fences around it. Then originally this uh, little uh, um, uh, ski locations, so uh, blade loca lo locations, not location, rental, sorry, this is French, not, the sign here is in French, not in English, so um, blade rentals there was here, all along here, but if I go down there, 
and have it still there. It will have prevented me from viewing uh, other things behind, so the point of view will be would have been completely ruined. And then some some freeze there, so it, it came to me right that like that. Uh, I was thinking. How can I place so because originally the little trees I put it there weren't were so ugly to see, so I went with some old jars and uh, those are plastic jars, obviously, then I put inside the trees, and the, those are not trees but are some parts of uh, of, of flowers. Um, plastic flowers, obviously, and then I filled the jar with sand to uh, maintain the, uh, the trees uh, perfectly where I wanted them to be. Then double-sided tape under the jars, and uh, there they are. So, well, there. Why? Uh, why not uh, using completely the space? So the new band, because I have, I had also that band that is very rare, but it is also very, very, very beautiful band, marching band. And then this is the new marching band from 2020. And why not using the stairs to, to add some movements, to add some everything. So every, I, I wanted uh, every possible space to be used for my figurines. The, the choir there, mm, with the priest there, uh, guys there, and then this is new, <laughs> the soap car, with the boy asking, Mom, Mom, could I go with them? Could I go with them? <laughs> Sorry, guys, uh, it's very late, and so I'm a little over right now, right now, but it, uh, it adds movements there, it adds movements. Even in the back there, uh, I added some uh, there, some... Uh, guys sloping down, etc. And then here, I wanted to maintain this very elegant, absolutely elegant, so trees. I, have, I added just three trees, so the couple's there, two trees there, and the one, it is there, in the romantic corner there, and those, those are not trees, so I don't consider them trees. Uh, so I was saying I wanted this to be elegant and so I've managed to add not uh, rascal kids uh, uh, playing with snow and uh, very very calm it is the entry of the uh, of the Greek park if you are wondering have I left something because I want yes I left out this big monster here Impossible to do. This is the new um, H. V. H. G. Williams photographer that goes with the two of those. So the couple being photographed and the photographer there. But impossible to add it. It will uh, just simply. Uh, I put it there. What you see behind it? Nothing. So I decided to use just the figurines. Oops, sorry and nothing else and as always i tend to use uh, uh, blind corners or blind spots like uh, the the column there to place figurines and these don't prevent from the camera to from seeing what's behind the, um, the the main point of view and this is too and another uh, blind spot there and then, and then everything. This is the technique I've always used and I will always use for my point of view. Then on the stairs, then I added the milk there, uh, ladies, uh, the sandwich man, one here, one there, and Santa's. Yes, Santa's there, my red Santa, the one I haven't modified. And where is the green Santa? Green Santa is... <laughs> This is, a, this is not a joke, guys, but I also add the green Santa and the one I modified some months ago. I have a double red Santa and I place it right there. So with the guys here admiring the new uh, buildings, the uh, future buildings, but also <gasps> look, there's a Santa up there and everything else. So this one... 
was gigantic, so I had to uh, dig into the styrofoam to have it there, otherwise it will be too tall. It would have been too tall, and it would have prevent um, the point of view for uh, to see, um, to um, it will it would have had. Sorry, uh, it will come. Uh, it would have prevented the, the point of view to see the uh, windmill there. So some other guys here, there, etc. And here too, I had the Scrooge here on the near the stairs of the post office. Then another couple of things. Ma what uh, I use? Oh yes, this is the sweeper. Some chicken. Those are Jurassic chickens because they are too big. But I haven't found anything little, little, um, anything. Uh, of the correct dimension. So those are Jurassic uh, Park chickens. And what I mean with uh, point of view. Also uh, here, you can see that the shoe shiner here, it is visible, they are visible through the opening between the stations and the Slater's home. Here too, I have the lady there visible with the with the little daughter there in the space between the church and the slaters the carol is there then the couple just married with a little i don't know child daughter visible there i haven't put uh figurines behind buildings useless and on the uh there on the fourth uh on the fourth level, two, uh, no, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, fifth level, sorry. The guy there, the guy there in the middle, then some carols. I, I, I can see that one color is there. So if I move the camera, I can see both the, this side to the other two carols there. And it is very important. So, and in the middle there also. It is very important to respect the point of view. Uh, it will help once you decide to film because this project here will be filmed in some weeks, two weeks, I think, two, three weeks, as always. And it is important not to hide anything. So this one to the grandma with the jars, with gems, with jars there. Oh, yes, with jars. <laughs> Uh, that I've uh, remodeled during the past months. It is vi she is visible there, and then also all the guys there. And the uh, waterfall is visible behind the guys, and the lady pumping there. The lady Mrs. Blacksmith is visible here too. The sweep chimney, the chimney sweeper. Sorry, and something else, and here too. So nothing is. Oh, one little problem that I had. So I also added here in this corner here. You can see that I have the trees there. Maybe this is the teacher with some uh, pupils there uh, preparing the Christmas tree. But I also have there this, maybe I will get it. This was very difficult to place essentially because uh, uh, this park, uh, this park bench here is different from the other, so useless to put it right there instead of the other one. So, but this is a very beautiful figurines, uh, a nun with a couple of uh, girls, I think. Yes, preparing for the recital, the Christmas recital, <clears throat> maybe at school. So I decided to place it right there, and right now it's not very, very <coughs> visible. Sorry, guys. But once I begin to film it with the camera going everywhere and sliding from left to right and up down, it will be visible. And the corner there, it would have been very empty. So um, marching band also had movements. So uh, getting down the stairs, it adds movements, simulation of movements. Uh, it is important not to be absolutely fixed there but because if they were on the same level, it doesn't uh, give the impression that the, mar the band is marching, but 
uh, having them uh, in on different levels it gives you the impression that it is, that the band is moving really is really moving sorry a little christmas tree uh, some guys there etc and what else what else what else yes this is my another point of view i have two very romantic point of view this one here because I judge this the best figurines ever made by Lemax. And this is not Lemax. This is Louisville. Kissing goodbye or kissing welcome. And look, if I place it there, they are still visible from this level. And if I go up, they are visible there. Uh, okay, so very, very. And I wanted them to be my one of my main point of view, so I added them there with the little girl <laughs> staring at them. Maybe this is the little sister of one of them. I don't know, but um, okay, it, this is life, guys. And the trio of snobs there, uh, not even looking at the camera because they are too important. They are very important people, so they are not even looking at the camera, in the camera, sorry. And what else? What else? Carolus, uh, um, doll maker there, etc. So everything is here. I will, I will need to um, dig some um, half a centimeters maybe to hide the platform here. I don't want this to be visible. Uh, so do I need to dig? Yes, maybe uh, the well, and I will add some plants around. The, the well or so, the make a wish well. And the, that was the only spot available and so. Um, what else I did? Nothing, yes, oh you know, yeah. This will be the point of view, yes. This is interesting too, the point of view here. Uh, seeing it through the, the, port, the, the arch there with the lady coming with some big amount of mistletoe there and uh, the, the lady selling flowers and the romantic uh, uh, victorian couple here hearing from, from some music so christmas yes but christmas is also very very romantic and i don't know this is not uh, oh yes uh, sister sarah there that has accompanied me all along the, the past months is still there waiting for some place for maybe I will put there uh, there um, accompanying the I don't know kids to see Santa's I don't know may even if this is not very 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 um, very um, normal for her but because she is uh, she is a globetrotter, <laughs> okay? And then I will need to fill once again the uh, Neptune uh, fountain, the Poseidon fountain there, and also the waterfall. I needed to refill the waterfall, but now the train, everything, I told you everything. Yes, then I added some girl and uh, his father with the snowman there. Carolus, yes, a couple just been... Uh, that has just been married by uh, the uh, priest there. Uh, oh yes, this this one is new, the fresh bread girl with the bicycle car there. I don't know how to call it. And uh, okay, the the couple just been married too. Yeah, with uh, the husband carrying the wife for the first time inside. Three books there, three books there, okay, and then these <laughs> mothers and uh, son coming from the Christmas boutique with plenty of uh, packets, and okay, also this one, this is from last season, I think, yes, they also come from the Nutcracker uh, factory there, obviously they both uh, some Nutcracker. Uh, yes, um, oh yes, 
This is not very, very, I don't like it having Santa, the Mrs. and Santa's and Mrs. Santa there, but this is uh, Santa's uh, story time uh, cottage, so maybe yes. This is from um, Santa's Wonderland collection, so it would have been better to place them up there, guys, because I've also uh, managed not yet the lights because I still need to uh, figure out how to uh, put lights there. But I added something and very kitsch. Uh, Santa's have <laughs> garden gnomes <laughs> in front of their uh, cottage, and they are little <laughs> little Santa's helpers gnomes. And uh, gnomes, I don't know, gnome, gnome, oh, okay, so I wanted this to be absolutely kitsch, okay, uh, maybe I will uh, make someone infrared, but I think garden gnomes are very kitsch, and I added something kitsch in front of the Klaus cottage, the reindeers here, uh, here in the corner, the, the helpers, that, uh, then some uh, elves uh, having a little pose there, a little nap there with the polar bear and everything else. So, uh, Santa swinging. So, uh, I already have uh, Santa, Mrs. Santa swinging there. I, I didn't want to have another uh, Santa scaffold there. The lady is pumping water. Kids playing and having a snow fight there, a snowball fight there, and uh, the other girl with uh, a snowman, and here uh, you have already seen this last time, or maybe two times ago, uh, guys playing here, uh, children playing there. And then here I have the chimney sweeper, uh, grandfather and granddaughter and mother and daughter there and a little uh, flower cellar there and then letters to Santa here and uh, I think it's all guys okay I wanted to uh, let me just put this somewhere that it's not raining anything and I'll oops nope Okay, allow me just, uh, I know the camera isn't horizontal right now, allow me some uh, seconds, because I want, sorry, I want to show you something. Yes, and let me switch off all the lights. I'm here, I'm here, I'm coming. Okay. Right. Okay, I'm here. I don't have uh, every and single one of the street lamps lighted right now uh, because uh, uh, I still miss uh, one plug, but I wanted you to get a look here. The result here with the street lamps, with my street lamps there in plain dark. No lights on, are switched on, just simply my uh, street lamps. And I added also this, this tall street lamp there because I wanted to have the couple here, the kissing couple here with some more light. Not too much because I want them to have their intimacy. And then here also, that gives... Uh, I wanted to add a couple of uh, street lamps on the corners there. But with this one here, that pro project also lights towards the, um, the uh, pier, the harbor, the dock section. No need at all. And then also there with the uh, other people there and those street lamps. I've also connected uh, the the uh, Hidden Cove Seaside Retreat to the uh, power cord and everything else there, the romantic couple there, etc. So this is the effect in play. Obviously, 
once you get uh, far from the uh, beach there you tend to go into the darkness but just remember that also the both the um, golden eagle there uh, is uh, has a light inside and also i added the second bolt there so this is the effect uh, with my street lamps no need of uh, uh, obviously i still haven't connected or to the um, ac adapter all the um all the street lamps i i'm missing the uh, last two levels okay but they are working and so here too on the platform you can see that the tall uh the 20 the 24 centimeters at all street lamps project like also uh, on top of the uh, platform on the uh, there on the big stairs there so this is the effect and everything i think everything is uh, well illuminated uh, well lighted up even the corners just and the two stands there are their proper lights so it will give some more um, some more uh, light you know, towards the corner but everything is visible even in plain dark and uh, i have correct uh, shadows everywhere especially here i have shadows 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 shadow and on the uh, dark section i have very big shadows i like that uh, I didn't add some uh, one <laughs> under the porch there. I don't know, maybe I will decide to modify something. Um, yes, and this is the effort. I don't think it is too bad uh, and everything. So also blind spots there, a street lamp behind this statue here so it doesn't prevent anything it doesn't ruin the point of view but it had lights for what it is behind it and for what it is in front of it you have the very very first very near to the border uh, street lamps there and this one too mm, just the tip of the street lamps is coming up the uh, the the column there but no problem at all. And then also another street lamp behind the other column to project lights. Uh, I have different types of uh, street lamps, so different type of, uh, of light. This is more um, warm. Those are more, more cold. I uh, like in general life when you change, um, when you change uh, street lamps, uh, uh, bulbs uh, they are aren't the same color and they prevent everything so and here i have the precious uh, um, stand there that is as a very bright light so no need to add uh, street lamps there in the corner because uh, it will give everything and okay i will switch on once again all the lights or just the main light Yeah, just the main light. Okay. And the street lamps are still lighted up, uh, lighted on, but this is the final. So, uh, I think it's all for Pyth, <laughs> Pyth, for part 19. See you in just some seconds for my outro. Thanks. This coach here is the proof that sometimes you need to renounce to something beautiful for a greater good. <laughs> it would have been impossible to have it anywhere and not ruining the point of view. It is even bigger than my uh, golden eagle booth or almost taller than the Tannenbaum clock tower, a huge, gigantic item horse and coach there i don't know why they do something like that limax lemax call it whatever you want and I, this doesn't mean that i will not use this in future because it is plain new it is from 2021 collection maybe when i will have three times this space for my christmas village 
uh, and it is not for next year, I think. 20 to maybe more hours of work to get this result here. And this is not finished, I repeat, it is away from being finished, but uh, when I will add trees, it will change another time the look of the village. Trees and everything else give a very interesting touch. Sorry if I was uh, too romantic, but I wanted to have a touch uh, of it with this uh, um, project, with this 2021 project. Next time I will complete the trees, I will complete the cobblestones and everything else. I will connect the lights and I need to make something for the mess I have under the, uh, the plywood plank there, the plywood pl panels because the cables, the power cords are absolutely a mess under there. I will not show you them. Um, what else? Nothing, I think. So please, don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and, if you wish, see you next time.